Hello and welcome to Burke. What we have here is a koi. If you want to make these at home, I recommend stockings or knee-high socks with tennis balls in the end. If you don't have tennis balls, a lovely thing to use is juggling balls. If you don't have juggling balls, we have a lovely tutorial on how to make them. So for these, you want to wrap them around your fingers so you do not lose hold of them. We're going to start by swinging them on either side of us. Like this. You can also go backwards. Practice that a little bit. And then we're going to practice crossing our arms. From forward, when they're at the top, cross your arms over and then back. You can cross your arms and stay as well, but that is a little bit harder. It is likely you will hit yourself at some point with coin. So what I'm going to get you to do, just swing it around your body, hit yourself gently, and actually learn what feels like. It is not something to be scared of, unless you are going really, really fast. With coin, you're not aiming to go really fast. Um, you're aiming to go nice and slowly so that they stay at the edges of the circle. You don't want them dropping in the middle of the circle. Like this. So, next to you, cross over and back. And then we are going to split them up. So one is at the top at a time. Again, when it's at the top, cross it over and we can go to a weave. This is your three-bit weave. You can do it forwards and you can do it backwards. To change between them, you need to turn a lot. There are lots of tricks from here, uh, but the other one I will get you to work on is called a butterfly. You want to be doing circles in front of you. And you want to bring your arms slowly together. You want to keep one hand higher than the other. As you can see, my right hand here is higher than my left. Um, and you want to point your wrist towards the ceiling. This makes it less likely that they will tangle. Um, when they tangle, they will usually hit you. From your butterfly, there's lots of tricks we can do. I will teach you a uh, large flourish where you're going to straighten your arms and come back to them. Once more. And the extension of this, we will be going behind our head. Large straight arms behind your head, keep your elbows pointing to the ceiling. Once we've got that, you can do it without the big flourish. Just go straight behind your head. As long as your elbows keep pointing to the ceiling, that should work. That is point. Thank you for coming to Berg, and we will see you next time.